Okay. Do you have any questions about the endocrine axis before I'll speak and give you all the examples of endocrine axis in the human body? Is the concept clear to you? Okay. So what we do next, we will learn about each endocrine axis in the human body and you will write it with me, okay? It's very important to write the axis from the beginning. And then for every axis, we will also speak about pathologies. So let's start with the first axis, the thyroid axis. Thyroid axis. Thyroid axis starts in the hypothalamus. As every other axis. Hypothalamus is producing. Yes, 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 please. Of course, of course, as always, you should write. Hypothalamus is producing the hormone TRH. TRH is thyroid releasing hormone. Thyroid releasing hormone. Again, the thyroid axis, the hypothalamus is producing TRH. Thyroid releasing hormone. Thyroid releasing hormone is affecting which, which gland? Which gland is affected by the thyroid releasing hormone? The anterior pituitary gland, right? Anterior pituitary gland. The anterior pituitary gland is stimulated by TRH to secrete the hormone TSH. TSH is thyroid stimulating hormone. Thyroid stimulating hormone is affecting which gland? Which gland is affected by the thyroid stimulating hormone? Anyone? TSH is affecting which gland? Not thymus. TSH is affecting which gland? What's the name of the axis? Which gland is affected by TSH? Anyone, I need you to communicate. Good, thank you, the thyroid gland. Thyroid gland is producing as a respond two hormones, T3, and T4, which are the thyroid hormones? Thyroid hormones. Thyroid hormones is, thyroid hormones are affecting all body tissues. Again, thyroid hormones are affecting all body tissues. And the result is the hormonal effect, which we call an increase in the basal metabolic 